to hear that so many people cannot be turned on by their partners. They have to first watch pornography in order to turn on. Really? That's not what God intended. God intends that your wife's body turns you on. Your husband's body turns you on. Asperia. Many people are breaking up in their marriages. Others are having a cold and lonely marriage because of lack of sexual intimacy in their relationship. In today's video, I want us to talk about how to have great sex in your marriage as a Christian couple. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, Asperia here. This is a video I would recommend you to watch. Like it, share it with your friends. Do not forget to subscribe. So the very first thing you need to do to have a great sex in your marriage is embracing sex as a gift. Now, sex is a gift that God has prepared and presented to married people. It's a divine thing that he himself designed in his own way. And it is his intention that it, sex be regular and consistent. So in your marriage, you need to understand that sex is not just something you do as, you know, an act of married people. It's divine. Even God knows it. And he created our bodies and designed them for that purpose. In the Bible, in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7, he says in verse 3 that let the husband render unto his wife due benevolence, and likewise the wife, also the wife unto the husband. The wife has no power over her own body but the husband. And likewise the husband has no power over his own body but his wife. And he continues to say in verse 5 that defraud ye not one another. In other words, do not refuse to satisfy one another. So God intends that sex be between one another. It is actually an act of giving and receiving. You know, you give as I give. You give as I give. And it will satisfy each other. So embrace this act. Don't just do it in a traditional form. Since we are married, we are supposed to you know have sex. We are supposed to sleep and husband, talk of the wife, and mm, that is sex. No. Understand what sex is in your marriage. It is one of the things why you left your parents' house. Because other things your parents could do, but they could not give you that sexual satisfaction. It's your husband. It's your wife. That's why God says, leave your father and mother and cleave to your wife. So sex is a perfect and beautiful gift that is supposed to be embraced by the married couple. Number two, build intimacy. Now take your time and make friendship with your partner. Be friends. You know, create that deeper emotional connection between you and your husband or your wife. It is sad to hear that so many people cannot be turned on by their partners because they have, you know, infiltrated their minds with adultery, having extramarital affairs. They have infiltrated their minds with watching pornography, whereby they have to first watch pornography in order to turn on. Really, that's not what God intended. God intends that your wife's body turns you on. Your husband's body turns you on. And that's why he said, defraud you not one another. And he makes it clear in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 that your body belongs to your spouse. When you are in your marital bed, you have no control over your body. But sometimes it's just a tradition where you just come on top of each other, a few minutes, you are done, you're sleeping, and you don't have that emotional connection. If you want to have great sex in your home, in your marriage, build intimacy. Let your partner be this deeper friend of yours that knows each and everything about you. Someone that will help your emotions to come out. 
you know don't just be there as a tradition yes yeah, since you are married you are supposed to sleep so you sleep but of that and things don't be enjoyable and that's why the devil is tempting very many even men of god into sin of adultery because they are not getting the satisfaction that they intended to get in their marriages please spice up your own Free. take time and connect he's your husband is your wife why are you rushing like are you going to get a bus in a few minutes take your time speak have that foreplay have that intimate time speak to each other and let those emotions come out why should you just come you just bed you were just in the bed the next thing is in out that's not good Having great sex will take you time to connect. Sometimes people are going through a lot even in their marriages. And maybe as you're lying down in your bed, something is troubling your partner. Have you really taken time to discover what is happening? Take your time, you know, connect. You know, just like Adam and Eve, these guys were naked and unashamed. They were together. They had that intimate time. So when you are in your bedroom, please take time to connect there are a lot of things that you need to do to bring out your partner's emotions discover what your partner wants which particular thing turns them on and always focus on doing that that is when you will have a great sex for build anticipation you know sex shouldn't be something uh because we have to do it okay let's do no have that longing have that hunger have that desire for your spouse when you open the book of song of songs you're going to see romantic words that this woman was telling his her, her husband and the husband was telling to the wife you know have those romantic moments when you're exchanging good words you know have that time when you are affirming your spouse and that will create a yearning a longing a desire for each other and by the time you want to have that sex already your emotions are out not just when you just quarreled and you want you know you've just quarreled you've just had a misunderstanding and the next thing you want is sex it may not work please build that anticipation have that hunger i i miss you i really want to you know i miss this i i can't wait to see you i a lot of things that you can do to put your partner in mood even before the act so build that anticipation five practice new things in your bedroom now sex is is far beyond this usual thing of husband and wife you know top down you know no sit down and practice something new now i'm not saying go and watch pornography no but you too can sit down and discover what works out for you and what makes your partner reach maximum that orgasm there are so many women that are struggling i talk to women so much and so many have not reached orgasm in their marriages and the mistakes are because they don't try out new things maybe their partners do not understand what they want and there is a problem in communication now you as a wife you as a husband communicate tell your partner i don't want this i want this i want it this way i like it when you do it like this and that will help him to know how to satisfy you try out new things help your partner to be sexually satisfied because you are the person supposed to satisfy him or her you know don't just be there complaining for you you don't really, no, 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 you want two minutes three minutes huh? no try out new things have you tried out new things have you tried out new styles have you changed positions please do that the six be selfless 
Now, when you want to have a great sex, it's not about you. It's about you satisfying your partner. It's about him satisfying you. So, you're going to do all with all your heart. And that's why you have to have that sex when you are emotionally detoxified. You're not hung angry. You're not having that resentment and bitterness against your spouse. That's why you have to resolve all the anger. So that by the time you are into that act, your memory, your mind is okay. You, you can release your emotions perfectly. It's not about you. It's about how to make this person happy. It's about how, you know, to bring out my husband's satisfaction. How can I do this? If your partner requests you for a certain thing, do it for them so that they will be happy because that is what God wants you to do for your wife. A lot of things that you can do to have a great sex in your marriage. But the, the six things I have shared can open up your mind and help you to not add spices into your sex life. Thank you so much for watching. I believe you found this content helpful. Kindly give it a like, subscribe, and join this family. I love you. Till.